Hey guys, before today's video gets started, I want to tell you about our giveaway. April 1st through April 30th, 2023, we're giving away this 2,000 horsepower capable HED LS engine. It's 387 cubic inches. It's got an aftermarket LSR aluminum six bolt block, mass 255 LS3 head, and it's packed with all kinds of goodies and topped with a sheer fab intercooler intake, an icon throttle body, and a set of billet motion racehorse valve covers, and a bunch of other goodies. You also get two precision turbos. To win, all you have to do is spend $5 at Motion Raceworks. There's no maximum amount of entries. For full rules and details, check out the link in the description below, but definitely head over to Motion Raceworks or tvmbrakes.com and get yourself some parts and apparel. Hey guys, welcome back to the Motion Research YouTube channel. Today we're at TBM. Uh, as you may or may not know, TBM is a sister company of Motion Research. We purchased it back in September of 2021. Since then, we've moved it from California to Bradenton, Florida. Since then, we have completely started machine all of our own products in-house. Uh, they used to farm out all the work locally in California, and we decided if we're going to buy this thing, we're going to do just like we do with Motion and uh, we're gonna manufacture our own parts. So the last year has been filled with a bunch of learning, fixturing, engineering, and just generally uh, starting up a machine shop from scratch. Obviously you've seen our machine shop at uh, Motion up in Iowa. Uh, we have about 10 CNC machines there. This building that you see behind us was completely empty about a year and a half ago. And it's safe to say it has really gotten out of hand really quick. The TBM product line uh, has been adapted to a ton of new platforms, including late model stuff like 5th and 6th gen Camaros, S197, S550 Mustangs, uh, Hellcats. We've even circled back and adapted it to a lot of other racing platforms. But uh, some of you may or may not know, Circle Track is kind of where we got our start at TBM. When drag racing really exploded for TBM, they had to kind of make a tough choice to, they just didn't have enough people and uh, resources and machines to uh, really accommodate drag racing and circle track. So they kind of deviated away from circle track, but we're back, we're developing parts. We are releasing new calipers and new adaptations for dirt late model, asphalt, sprint cars, uh, and everything else in between. So we've been lucky to be able to deploy a lot of the engineering and design from Motion Raceworks and take our six design engineers there and put them on top of uh, some projects that we wanted to get done for TBM. And since that time, we've seen exponential growth uh, we went from three month back order to shipping almost same day for all of our brakes. In uh, less than a year's time, we have taken it from zero machines to automatic saw that feeds four CNC machines. We started out with three, we had motion making a lot of our parts. Then we tried to consolidate here. We added long shifts, so split shifts, uh, so we could run the machines as long as possible. We ended up having to add another CNC machine just to run calipers because we physically could not keep up with demand. Uh, since that time, We've then ran out of machine time again. This is all within eight or nine months of starting uh, to machine down here. And now we're getting to the point where we're out of uh, power and room at this facility. So fast forward to today, we're not really interested in moving. Um, so we kind of were stuck in the middle and Tanner, who's our lead engineer and uh, in charge of machining down at TBM came up with this idea. Uh, let's try automation. That's a whole new thing for motion and TBM just in general. Something we've never done at Motion Research or TBM. So it was a whole new venture for us. So before I talk too much more, I want to introduce you guys to Gary, our first ever robot at Motion Raceworks in TBM Brakes. Gary's the name that the guys at the shop came up with. We had to have a name. We couldn't just call it a robot. That's a little bit offensive and uh, pretty informal for somebody that's doing so much work for us. But Gary is an, a totally autonomous machining cell. Uh, basically, we load the forgings into this thing and we walk away until it's complete. It allows us to run three dedicated shifts with minimal human intervention. Uh, we're basically loading this thing and it's running for 24 hours at a time and uh, almost a complete weekend as well. So it allows us to get two more complete shifts out of machining. And to be honest with you, one of the reasons why we have not expanded even faster is just because of machine capacity. Uh, we hold very tight quality standards on this stuff. So we don't want to go outsourcing machine work. Our whole concept was to bring machining in. So adding Gary to our team allows us to have a tremendous amount of machine capacity that we can then control and uh, quality check on site before we go through any further processes. 
even though seven years ago when I uh, when we started Motion Raceworks, I had no thoughts that we would have robotic machining cells within those seven years. Um, expanding it has really opened our eyes. We've long since been very prideful about our manufacturing in the USA, but one of the things that that requires is that you step up and make those next steps. Just having machines isn't good enough. You have to think about autonomous machining. You have to think about uh, robotic loading and unloading, uh, simplifying processes, new fixturing, all that stuff. We're really trying to push the limits, at least internally, for technology and what's capable of being done. Whatever we did yesterday is not gonna be good enough today. We're always trying to push the limits, both with our parts as well as our machining and production. So this is like kind of the new frontier for machining for us. Spindle time is like huge in machine shops. You wanna make sure that the spindle's running as, as long as possible. Um, so running at night is a really big benefit. Uh, this is a little different, right? It runs for 50 hours-ish by itself, um, un untouched. So setting it up and then letting it run for two days, that's like a, it's a new ball game. One of the other things that's really cool about the robot is it helps uh, alleviate the need for more people. In a small area like this, that's going to maximize what we can do in a given amount of time. Also, there are just times when you're busy cutting up material, prepping it, checking parts for clearances and stuff like that. So just like this machine here that has a door open, the robot will already be working so that it's not so much of a, they don't last long. They're always right there on it. But it allows for um, the people to be focusing on what's next to feed things faster, uh, to make sure our quality control is still top notch, as well as increasing production all at the same time. So that's it guys. Whether you're as excited about our new venture as we are or not, the main thing is, this is gonna help us tremendously with keeping up and staying ahead of production, as well as developing a bunch of new uh, TBM kits to go along with the platforms that we already have. We are not far off from being able to release our new 12, 13, and 14 inch bended rotor street style brakes so that we can apply to more everyday hot rods and not just racing. Of course, we're jumping head first back into circle track racing. So between all of those things, we're gonna be busy might even have to add another robot or two. Hopefully you guys love this video as much as we did. We love reinvesting in technology, manufacturing, and finding ways to make things better, faster, and uh, apply to more platforms. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you haven't already subscribed to the Motion Raceworks YouTube channel, now's the time to click that button. We'll see you guys next time.